hello there my ladies trying to get pregnant this video is for you thank you thank you thank you for watching my channel if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe so today i thought i would share uh i will share something about pregnancy and i'm going to share a lot of topics about pregnancy why i have friends that i know i also have people that i've met that are really trying their best to become pregnant and it's really hard for them they do not know whether they have health complications they do not know whether they're just barren or something so i just made some simple research and i thought i would share for those who are trying to conceive and let's try it out let's listen to this video it could be a lifesaver for you thank you so number one if you're trying to get pregnant make a plan and take action when I say make a plan, it's um, babies don't just come. Of course, they don't just come. We make plans for them. Uh, and actually, planned babies are the best. So first plan for that baby. When you make a good plan for it, then you'll know it's time to take action. You know what I mean? Follow your monthly, your monthly calendar. Find out yourself days find out the day the days that are not safe you know you need to learn all those things it will help you a lot when you want to become pregnant that way you will know the days you have to try to look for a baby you know the times you don't have the days you don't have to miss out having sex hmm. that way you're taking action number two see a doctor uh not all of us are lucky that you'll just sit there and be like i want to have a baby and you'll have it no not all of us are that lucky but it's good for you to see a doctor that way you the, he will have answers to your questions yes uh actually if you do not know how to calculate your calendar the doctor will help if you the doctor will also scan, make scans and all medical you know medical needs to to find out if your body is really in good shape and nothing is stopping you from conceiving that way you know you're ready to become pregnant you know it's uh, some actually some bodies need support some bodies just can't you just can't get pregnant some some, some go take extra measures to get babies so you need to see a doctor to find out what kind you are the other thing is stop drinking alcohol tobacco hmm? And all drugs, all those things that don't, they're not good for your body. And just in case you're trying to get pregnant, you need to stop taking all those things. It will help you a lot to prepare your body just in case. <laughs> it may stop you from conceiving. So stop using drugs, taking alcohol, tobacco, and all that. Dangerous substances. The other thing you have to do is um, research and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Uh, some of us, um, some of us ladies eat anyhowly. We have bodies that are really out of control. And doctors say that obese women are like women who are really fat. Sometimes it's hard for them. So we have to keep ourselves in shape. We have to keep our weight in check just in case we want to be pregnant. And doctors say that if you're overly fat, if you're obese, that when time for giving birth comes, it may be harder for you to push that way you will have to go for a c-section with without an option so it's good to keep our weight in check just in case we are trying to get a baby the other thing is get mentally healthy keep your me keep your brains hmm, away from stress don't stress it's a lot i know it's a lot it's a lot going on in the world that can keep you that can worry you you have a family you have a job that could be stressing you you have a partner that could be stressing you you have questions that you don't have answers to that that could be stressing you but avoid you have to be mentally healthy for you to try for a baby for you to conceive so your brain has to be in check the other thing you have to do is to start taking folic acids yeah you have to start taking folic acids folic acids help a lot they're recommended by doctors they help a lot to uh, 
when you want to get pregnant when you're trying to get a baby folic acids really can help ease the process they can help fasten the process yeah there is that four are they the 400 micrograms yeah you take those ones every day they really help in in, in hmm? speeding the, the the conceiving process so take folic acids you won't regret you'll thank me yes just in case you do not know them go and see a doctor ask ask about folic acids or you can also use the internet and find out what folic acids do yeah that way you will know you're sorted the other thing you have to do is um <clears throat> a second the other, the other thing you have to do is uh stop um avoid toxic substances uh avoid environment you know toxic substances when i say toxic substances, they are and uh yeah, this point is hard irene <laughs> irene this time why it is hard okay uh the other thing is avoid toxic substances and environment contaminants when i say this i am talking about such things like synthetic uh chemicals bug sprays and all that yeah avoid all that just in case you're trying to to, to, to conceive you don't have to be in cont contaminated environments you don't you have to forget to avoid all those toxic substances it's not good for your health it's not good for your breath it's not good for your you know for you when you're trying to get a baby yeah uh the other thing and uh it's the last one for me check your family history it's really important some of us ladies are trying to get babies but we don't even know why we are failing yet we are we have family background family health background that's really stopping us some of us have parents who really also struggled to get babies so find out all about you all about your family history how was it for your mom for your aunties how how is it in your you know in your family is it always easy for them or is it always complicated for them and just in case those who have who have who, who have been successful and got babies how do they do it you know so you have somewhere to start the other thing uh why you have to check your family history some of us when we get a when we when we become pregnant we give birth to babies that uh, should i i i don't want to say to we give birth to special babies when i say special babies those are babies that need special attention you know they they are not ordinary babies let's say i'm black elma is black then i give birth to an albino you know it could it could be a scare to me it could be a worry it could be stress it's stressful but if you had if you make research and find out that it's in your family history that will you, you know you're not the first person to do it it's in your family and you know how to go about it you know because that baby you've given birth to is also a baby just that they need some special kind of attention so you need to learn all those things so it's always important for you to check your family history just in case you're trying to get a baby otherwise we all that in check when you do all that pray to god as well pray to god <laughs> pray to god as well just in case you're trying and you're doing all that and it's not working actually as you're doing it still pray to god yeah to bless your womb otherwise ladies i think this video is really helpful for you i i hope you find it helpful and just in case you have a friend who is trying for a baby share it share it let them know let them know ah uh, we got them we are thinking about them and we are praying for them hopefully god will bless, bless them with babies as always thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel comment and share like thank you very much stay blessed